Hello friends, welcome to our today's session on Apache Spark. In this series, we are learning Apache Spark in detail and in our today's video, we will cover a topic on how to list a file recursively either from a blob storage or else from a Hadoop path or else from a DBFS file system and load that list of files into a Spark data frame. So we will use Databricks as our platform to develop the code and we will have both PySpark as well as Spark with Scala solution and uh, this video will help you in understanding uh, the concept of listing the files and uh, here in this video we will cover a, a couple of methods to list the files since we are going to use Databricks I will cover dbutils and we do have a standard uh, package called uh, Spark Hadoop utils we will go through that as well that being said let us move on to today's demo so we are into my Databricks community edition account I have already created a file uh, called spark list files and I have chosen a Scala as a programming language here and then I have already started the cluster as well it is up and running and uh, let us move on and see the first method using dbutils uh, ls so dbutils ls can be accessed through magic command fs and ls so here I have given uh, magic command fs help ls so this will give us all the command that is related to ls and uh, you can see majorly this ls is used to list the content of the directory and uh, let us see how it get listed let me use percentage fs ls and space and uh, let me give this path itself dbfs file store so you can see it is listing the files in a tabular format the same thing we can use it with dbutils as well this command is like dbutils dot fs dot ls and within the path within the bracket I have to give the path and I have to run this so this will give us a list since it is a Scala code it is giving it in a format of sequence if it is a python related notebook it will give us in a list format so this is how the dbutils and fs command works uh, but if you notice here it will list only the directories and not the files like it will list the files if it is in the root directory if the files are in this root directory itself it will list all the files but if it is inside a folder uh, i mean like if it is inside a folder subfolders it will not list it the recursive will not work here and also another thing if you notice say for example I am putting a white card character star and I am searching for the files so at that time it will say like uh, file not found exception here the wild card as well it will not work either even in uh, dbutils as well in below as well let me put star and let me run it so let me run this so here the wild card character will not work you can't uh, search it with uh, star characters so that is a major disadvantage and also the one more thing if you notice it has displayed as I told you it has displayed only the directories and if you need all the files if you need to list down all the files recursively then you have to iterate through you have to create a function and enumerate through all the list of directories that you have have to append the files to a list and then convert it as a uh, spark data frame that's what we are going to do in our upcoming command so here I have used magic command python since I am going to iterate through I find like python is uh, best suit for me so I am using python command you can do the same thing in the scala as well so here I am creating a function called a get file list and the input is like I am giving a root directory of which I need the files and inside this if you see I am iterating through each path of the dbutils.ls and if it is a file if the path that I am getting is a file then I am returning it then I am giving a yield command and I am returning the path else if it is a directory and if the path is ls then I am again listing and then I am again iterating through the same function 
so this is how i am enumerating the uh, directory that i have given and i am creating a list finally and from this list i am going to create a spark data frame this is what i am going to do so let me run this for you guys so now i have created a list of files it will take some time so depending upon number of folders that is available this dbutils.ls will get time will get more time to execute it so in my case i had around uh, 200k subfolders and inside each subfolders i had uh, date wise folders for an year and uh, it took around 4 uh, to 5 hours just to list the files inside the folders alone so it had a major drawback like it has to iterate through each and every folder and then it has to bring in all the list of files and uh, append it to a list and then create a data frame it created a more and more uh, time consuming process so i i i have to check on the other process so which i am going to show you but there are some limitations and advantages that i discussed with you so to summarize uh, like uh, enumerating over list will be very slow and depending upon number of root folders that we have uh, it it will be increasing that time proportionally so that is the first point and the major disadvantage is we can't use a wild card search we have to give a full path that we need so that is a second disadvantage but if you see like uh, the db utils works with uh, delta format very faster so comparably if you have a file format of delta then you can uh, directly go ahead with the db utils to list the files instead of uh, uh, going for the next method that i'm going to show you and the next method that we are going to use is uh, hadoop utils spark hadoop utils so here you can see i have imported the packages and uh, this one i am going to show it in spark with scala and you can see i am importing the, all the hadoop configuration packages and uh, all the uh, spark deploy dot hadoop utils and then spark sql dot execution in memory file index so and then uri for file path uh, findings so these things i am giving and then i am writing a function same as like above but here i am getting the file i mean i mean i am getting the root path and i am assigning it to a variable and i am configuring i am configuring the spark configuration so if you have any uh, say for example if you want to connect to uh, azure uh, then you need uh, credentials then you have to set it up before this process itself you have to set up the uh, access key and the storage account name in spark uh, before this step itself so that is one thing that you have to remember apart from that uh, the, the inside this function i have created a validate function uh, which will append a slash if you have not given any slash like if it is dbfs i don't need to append it if it is uh, starting with a mount point then i have to append it so something like that i am creating it and then i am create i am getting the file catalog from the memory index so here if you see this is a method that we are using spark hadoop utils dot get dot blob path and then we are providing the file system and then we are providing each file paths and then we are validating and then we are using a validate function to generate a full path so in this method we are uh, getting the file path and then uh, using the hadoop configuration we are uh, getting all the list of files and we are appending into the file catalog and finally preparing a list so this this list we are again uh, converting it as a data frame in spark so this is how we are achieving it let me run this code sorry so sorry i didn't i didn't execute the import statement let me execute it and now it has created a list so let me use that function and uh, create a data frame so this method i used it and it is able to convert it uh, i mean like i am able to achieve the results very very faster like within uh, 40 to 50 minutes i am able to get the data in my case and uh, on comparing both the results i could see some differences like if you see here i have only 110 rows here written but whereas in the above db utils case i could see 196 rows this difference i analyzed on it and uh, the difference is like as you know like uh, the spark scala uh, will not uh, 
uh, if if there is any underscore or else if there is any dot starting with the file name then it is treating it as a hidden file and it is not counting on it so that's why it is missing here and uh, apart from that all the files are being listed so if you want any uh, files that is starting with underscore or else uh, dot then you can't use this method uh, that is the one thing that you have to note apart from that everything works fine so i will give this code in my uh, blog and i will give a link in the description you can go ahead and try it on your own uh, that's it for today's video guys hope you understood this concept try this in your own machine and let me know if you face any issues i'm happy to help you guys thank you for watching please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up signal if you really like my content thank you